Yo, what's up? Today we're going to check out how to make live visuals, both MIDI and audio reactive, in Ableton Live. Huge thanks to ShowSync for sponsoring this video. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I have a project, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Video Sync. After you install it, you'll be able to open up the actual video window, but everything else uh, we're going to load from inside Ableton Live, and it's amazing how streamlined everything is just to work inside the software. It's going to be under my user library, and here I have my Video Sync folder. So we can actually play video clips using audio tracks, both in arrangement and session view. But let's look at a few other things we can do and visualize our MIDI and audio. For the first, let's start visualizing some MIDI notes. So here I have this ARP, let's solo this. And it's just an omnisphere with some effects. Now, there's a lot of ways of visualizing them, but they even have some built-in instruments like the tabula. I'm going to group my Omnisphere into an instrument track, Command-G or Control-G. Let's open up the chain list. Let's drop this tabula here. Okay, nice. So if we play it, we can already see some colored stripes. But let's, uh, first of all, set the range. I'm going to go inside my clip, and here it can tell me what's my note range of this, uh, all the MIDI in the clip. So C1, T, A sharp, 6. I'm gonna click Command Option 4 or Control Alt 4 to bring up the device view. And let's set it up. C1, and our highest note is A sharp, 6. Nice. Now, there's a lot of things we can do here. I can change the note width. Opacity, change the color range, do a lot of things. Coming with this package is also a lot of effects. So I love the fact that you can just drop in an effect. Let's go with maybe, let's do wavy. Just drop it anywhere in the chain here. And it's already controlling the visuals. So we can, of course, uh, map it to our MIDI controller or just automate it. Maybe I'll automate it right here before the drop. Let's bring it up right here. Nice. Now, we can even do more things by start blending different videos together. So we have these generators that can visualize MIDI, but if I open a new MIDI track, we also have, let's go back to instruments, we also have a video simpler, or essentially a sampler, we can load any video we want into it. Let's say, let me change the order, that's kind of like the order of the layering of the video. So I have uh, some videos I downloaded from online, First, let me solo just the video simpler track. You see that one disappeared because the soloing or even the muting turn off the video of a track. You can also control the opacity with uh, the volume, which is great. Okay, let's go back to a video simpler. Let me go and load a video here. Let's go desktop and VJ loops. Uh, and let's load something here. Let's try this. Okay, I'm going to solo that. Nice. Let's trigger it with MIDI. Just going to play MIDI here and trigger it. Right now, uh, we're going to change the start time. So we're starting maybe here. Here we go. Nice. But right now, I just want to trigger it. So I'm going to create a MIDI note here. Uh, it also depends on the height. That's going to be the speed. Let's say hit legato. That's kind of too fast. C3, like we have in samples, will be the original speed. Okay, nice. Now, I can mute that. I don't even have to use it. I can go back to my tabula, or tabula, whatever you call it, and change the video from, let's change it to our video sampler we just added. So now we can kind of colorize with our stripes our video that is playing from that video sampler. So that's super cool video simpler, and these instruments that can visualize MIDI. I'm going to actually mute this Omnisphere because I already have it resampled in this audio track right here. Okay, now we can do a lot more with the video sampler combining different effects. For example, I have a track here already. Let's mute the ARP so we don't see it. Let's unmute this. And here I have another video just downloaded from online, and I just loop in a section that just shows like a small kind of sun-like round circle. Now, we have a bunch of effects built in that are absolutely amazing. Uh, one of them is displacement. So displacement, if I, let's load it just to see it. 
I can start display. You see, I can start moving around the video elements and displace them. So I took that. Let's turn it on. I mapped the degrees to an LFO. So it's just circling. And I also added a shaper that is mapped to the rate of the LFO to slowly speed up uh, for our four bar intro. I also then added another uh, effect transform, which is very useful. So you can just change the size of the video, move it around, and do a lot of cool stuff. I'll show you more cool stuff in a second. So that's just zooming in. So now we have just start slowing, circling, speeding up and speeding up. <laughs> Okay, and go in and let's say I turn on the ARP as well. And for the ARP, I will automate the volume so it will also go down in opacity. Just kind of more, more and more kind of go in the background. It's side brain. Okay, let, let's talk about this now. Nice. So there's so much more ways of visualizing your MIDI and, of course, controlling, automating, mapping it to a MIDI controller, all those things. What's cool about these video simplers is that you can also create your own drum rack, video drum rack. So here I have a drum rack, and I'm going to actually, let's say, let me mute the videos. I will show you them in just a second. We don't need this. Okay. This, and I'll just play you the beat that we have right now, okay? That's just the beat. So this is my, let's move it here. Here is the MIDI clip. And I'm going to mute the arpeggiator. We're just going to hear the drums. Here it is. Nice. So... What we can do is, here I have the drum rack, I can layer drum samplers inside of it by taking just a video sampler and just dragging it while holding command and it will layer it inside an instrument rack. So we have the kick and we have the video sampler. So here I have one that I downloaded this video online of just kind of this uh, animation character playing the drums. Uh, I'm going to turn off this effect so we can see just what it's playing. Let's unmute the chain. And here is the kick. Now, because it's drum rack, I can play it on my MIDI controller, which is cool. Then we transformed it, so I just made it smaller. Okay. And here we have warp mode, so we can do a bunch of cool stuff to the video once you, trans once you scale it down. You can do this or clamp it, look what it does. So it does this, which is super cool. Another built-in effect is the crop map. I can just crop the video here and create a bunch of cool effects, like what we did here, I just crop it like that, and it looks like this. So I did the same thing for my snare. Let's unmute the chain here, here's my snare. So it's just a different part of the video. You just move the start and end. So it's a different part of the video. Just him playing a snare. And then we have the hat. Let's unmute the chain here. Hat, same thing. Transform, displace, or move it around, and then crop it. And we have another snare here. Let's unmute that. And we also have the tom that is coming at the end. Uh, all playing. At this one, I didn't even do any effect. It's just a full video, just playing at the right time. And here on the 808, I have this, the big 808 bass. I just have a video triggering. But you'll also see we have another effect. It's all built in, in Video Sync, called Colorize. So I'm automating this to turn on just the second bass note, because we have this one bass, the 808. And then we have another one playing a lower note. So uh, once it's playing, Let's unmute that. It's just triggering that video. We have a bit of release, so it's kind of fading out. And then changing the color. And you can, of course, change the color to whatever you want. So now we have this. Yes. 
let's listen from the beginning. It's side brain. Nice. And this is just scratching the surface, what you can do with MIDI controlling video. Now, what if we have audio? We're just using audio. So let's check this out and see all the things we can do with just audio. Okay, so here I just have an audio clip. And let's say I want to create some visuals for it. Now, another super amazing thing about this video sync is that we also have the ISF shader. These are codes, lines of codes, that you can download endless of them online for free and load them up into this shader, this ISF shader. But there comes with a lot of already shaders, both filters, effects, video effects, and generators, and even transition to transition between two videos. So let's go generators, and there's quite there's so much here. Like just here, this is super cool. Everything comes with its own controls, so I can take all of this, and whatever you see can be audio reactive, and let's see how to set it up. Okay, so let's say we want this. I want this to react to the audio. So first thing we can use is under modulators, we can load the envelope follower on our audio. This will listen to the audio and will change and will create a shape, an envelope, according to the volume. We can take this shape and map it. Let's go in remote mode, map it to anything we want, maybe this. Let's um, smooth the transitions. Let's add some rise and fall. And I'm going to take down the gain so it's not all the Maybe we don't want, maybe we want the angle. Nice, and you can combine, it's quite endless, the stuff you can do here. Let's load another ISF shader. And this time we'll do filters. And also here, you see, there's some endless stuff you can do. Let's, uh, let's do this. Damn, let's, uh, it's endless when you play with it. Let's go just this. So I'm going to open the multi-map and map this to our gamma. And it doesn't, let's say, gain it. Nice. So again, you can combine it in all sorts of ways. It's quite endless. What if we want to have it frequency dependent? So it's only listening to a certain frequency. So what we can do is, is I can go and load an EQ. Then I can limit just the frequencies that I want. Let's say just the bass here. I'm going to take just here, down here. And I can group this. I'm going to group it with the envelope follower together. Command G. Open the chain list. Create a chain. And mute this chain because this is only going to be for our control. So now it's reacting only for those kicks and some of the bass lines. You can even take it a step further and separate them. Let's say we want just the snare. Now, with the new Ableton 12.3, we have the stem separation. So I can step, separate the stems. Let's do separate. Give it a second to do the separation process. Nice, let's move this here. So now we have these four stems. We can launch the drums. I can go inside the drums clip, and then I can go in the envelopes, clip gain, turn everything down and only leave the snares. So only this and this. And we're just going to loop this first bar. Nice. We can mute the entire groups of uh, stems. We don't really not going to use it. We're just going to re-enable with zero our original clip. 
go back to our chain here. Let's add another envelope follower. You can load it right here. This one, we're gonna open up the sidechain section, tell it to listen to our drum stems, where we only take in the snares. Pre post effects, because post because it's muted. Actually, only the group is muted, so post mixer in this case is fine. Usually I will do post effects because usually the track will be muted. In this case, it's okay because only the group is muted. Bring up the mix, and now this envelope follower is listening to the snare. So we can take the snare and have the snare do something to the video, and it can be quite anything. This kind of crazy. Let's check out some more things. Maybe we'll go with effects. Let's say another ISF shader. We can do maybe, maybe Bloom. Let's try Bloom. We're going to load it here. That could be cool. Let's map that. Nice. Now, you could even take it a step further by start layering different videos together. So I can open up a new track here. Uh, let's do audio. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're only going to use it for video in this case. We already have the audio from the clip. Let's load a shader, another shader. And let's go generators. We're going to load something here. And maybe something like this. And then we can also go and load the properties, utilities. And here we can tell it in different blend modes. So we can have it to, have, to be a mask of the first layer. And here maybe we'll add a scale so we can see that we're kind of now blending the two together. Maybe we can get another cool kind of shape or something here. Let's find something. Oh, that's a cool shape. Can we... All right, so now we're combining the two effects together. Here, we have a heart. Okay. And it doesn't even... Here, you can change that. It doesn't even have to end there. We can also... Uh, let's add, add another audio track. We can also have other type of video sources, like I can take external in. Let's drop it in here. Oh, it's going to have to be a MIDI track. And take the video from my camera. Here it is. Nice. And also this, of course, you can add whatever effect. Let's add a ISF shader effect here. Actually, it does have a bunch of built-in ones, like the Vornoi. This one can input process. So here I am with this Vornoi effect. You can add motion. Ooh. Maybe we'll change this, the shape to... No, that's a cool shape. Nice. So even this, we can add another properties one. And here, maybe the first one, instead of mask, we'll do like uh, something like this. And this one can be a mask. Right, so you can blend them in endless ways, combine endless different effects, and do all sorts of uh, video, live video that is reactive to both MIDI and audio. I absolutely love this package of vi live video for Ableton. It's just so streamlined. Also, once you start mapping it to a MIDI controller, you literally can control the music and the video in real time. It doesn't even have to be audio or MIDI reactive. It can just be controlled by your MIDI controller knobs and faders and so on. Video sync. If you're doing also lights on stage, check them out. They also have beam for live, which you control just lights on stage, which is super cool. Video sync, complete video engine for Ableton Live. I'll catch you next time.